Hello friends, welcome to today's session on automation in Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Today's session is going to be very useful for someone who knows CUCM but is a beginner in automation. Today we are going to talk about what are APIs. What are some of the APIs available in CUCM? What are AXL APIs in CUCM? We will look into XML, SOAP, and WSDL, which are used in AXL API. At the end of the session, we will also show a demo of using AXL APIs to fetch some of the data from CUCM. So, what are APIs? APIs are application programming interfaces. They allow third party tools to interact with the application. They generally allow features like get or fetch data from application, add, update, or remove different configurations of the application. CUCM API. CUCM provide different APIs for different purposes. First one is CUCM AXL API, which are used for configuration management. For example, getting or fetching configuration data from CUCM or adding, removing, or updating CUCM configurations. Second one is CTI, which provides TAPI and JTAPI APIs. TAPI is Telephony Application Programming Interface and JTAPI is Java Telephony Application Programming Interface. These are used for call control integration with CUCM. Some of the most common integrations uh, that we see are Cisco Unity Express, Cisco Unified Contact Center Express, Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise, ARC Console, etc. Next are IP phone services. So Cisco provides SDKs and XML schemas that can be used to develop IP phone services, which are XML services that are used by Cisco IP phone XML browser. Next are very important serviceability SOAP APIs. So CUCM AXL APIs do not provide real-time information. For example, device registration status, extension mobility, login status, or device current load information. We can use RIS port SOAP interface to fetch these information. Next is Perfmon APIs, which are used to fetch performance counters like CPU users and memory users. Next one is CDR on demand APIs which are used to fetch call detail record for billing purposes. Next is Cisco click to dial APIs which are also known as Cisco web dialer and uh, these APIs can be used to develop uh, web applications and applications that uh, use a web dialer SOAP interface to provide kind of click to call feature for CUCM. So these are some of the CUCM APIs. However, Cisco Unified Communications also provide APIs for Cisco Unity connections, WebEx, chatbots, Jabber, etc. CUCM AXL APIs. So, what is AXL? AXL is uh, administrative XML layer and um, it is a SOAP based uh, programming interface. SOAP is a protocol that uses XML format for exchanging messages. Now, AXL is used for 
inserting, retrieving, updating, and remove data from CUCM configuration database. Cisco provides AXL schema documents. These documents contain request and response formats. These are the formats in which the request uh, should be made and uh, the formats in which COCM will reply. Similarly, Cisco also provides WSDL files. So WSDL files are documents detailing the functionality of a SOAP service. So we can use WSDL file uh, for SOAP testing tools to be able to generate AXL request from the tool. Let us now understand what are XML, SOAP and WSDL. XML is extensible markup language. It is used for encoding documents in a format that is both human readable and machine readable. This is an example of an XML document. Notice it has an opening tag and a closing tag. It can also have multiple tags nested inside one tag. Now, what is SOAP? SOAP is Simple Object Access Protocol. It is a protocol to access objects. Objects are nothing but, you can say, a set of information. For example, a device object will contain information with related configurations. For example, device pool, location, line index numbers, and the directory number. SOAP is a messaging protocol for exchanging the information among computers and this information is formatted in XML. So what is WSDL? Now SOAP implementation is always different for different scenarios. So we need a document that describes the functionality of the SOAP based service. Right? Now this document is known as WSDL. It is Web Services Description Language. It is also XML based document. Now that we understand the basics about CUCM AXL API, it's time for a demo activity. We are going to use a SOAP tool called SOAP UI for this testing. We will also need to download CUCM AXL WSDL file. Remember, WSDL file contains details about the functions of SOAP implementation. Now, we need to import this WSDL file to SOAP UI tool. Input username and password for CUCM AXL application user in SOAP UI tool. And then we are good to run some basic AXL API tests. 